us and be glad in it. Let us rejoice and be glad. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome, friends, to another session of Songs of Encouragement. My name is Tim Holder. I am the Director of Music Ministries at Pines Presbyterian Church here in Houston, Texas. And it's so nice to have you join me today. Today, I'm going to talk about quiet places with God and the nearness of God. I loved my Granny Holder more than life itself almost. Sweet, sweet woman, raised five boys. She had a baseball team. And I never heard her say anything derogatory. She was always so pleasant and so happy. The thing I remember most about my granny is every summer, oh, from probably nine to maybe 14 or 15, I would spend a week with her every summer. And <clears throat> while she was caring for her crippled son, this was when she was on up in age, uh, the thing I remember most is every morning going into the kitchen and seeing her standing over the stove putting on a pot of beans. Because beans were the staple food back then and you put on a pot of beans for the, the lunch. Then you had sandwiches for supper. But she was always either singing or humming. She was always so happy to be putting on that pot of beans. I have heard that it said, when you sing, you pray twice. And that's why I wanted to talk to you today about the happiness that God gives us when we sing. Sometimes we don't even realize it because God can just drop it on us in little splurges, or as my mother called them, handfuls on purpose. But I can remember in this choir that I direct right now, sometimes the music is so beautiful that when we're rehearsing it on Wednesday nights, I see tears streaming from my choir member's eyes. I have one bass in particular in the Easter season. Every time I drag out Ave Verum Corpus, he can't get through it. It just moves him so much that he breaks down and weeps. But that is part of the quiet time with God. God gives us those moments to feel his presence near him. I have a cousin who sends me videos. It could be in any time of the day or night, but when I click on those videos and, and watch the singers, sometimes I'm just overwhelmed with emotion. That is a quiet time with God. So I want you to look in your lives and realize that sometimes God drops these little jewels on you because he wants to spend time with you right then. Our scripture for today is from the Psalms. Psalm 73, 28, but as for me, the nearness of God is my good. I have made the Lord God my refuge that I may tell of all your works. Psalm 16 verse 8 says, I have set the Lord continually before me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. And particularly for this time that we're going through right now, I chose Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. I hope you enjoy this song called A Quiet Place. Why? 
I hope that you will look in your lives for God blessing you with those special little times of music. Our hymn today also talks about the nearness of God, near to the heart of God. The words are printed, so I hope that you will sing along with me. It's a wonderful hymn talking about where we can find that nearness of God. <clears throat> every day you find some special place to be alone and near to the heart of God. Until I see you next time, remember to keep a song in your heart. Bless you.